cinematic masterpiece. Wow, I love it. Gaddy's good. Hey, welcome back to Quality Reactions where guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna listen to music and then we're gonna discuss the quality art. <laughs> today we're gonna be listening to Falling in Reverse and their song, The Last Resort Reimagined. I'm very excited. This was highly recommended. And of course I've heard the original by Papa Roach. So I already have an idea of the song in my brain. So this is gonna be very cool to see what Falling in Reverse's interpretation is because I have loved everything that I've seen by them and heard by them so far. Cannot wait. Just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's do this. This is my last resort Cut my life into pieces Embrace my last resort Suffocation, no breathing Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm beating Do you even care if I die bleeding? Would it be wrong or it be right If I took my life tonight Chances are I'm losing my sight, losing my mind Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine Losing my sight, losing my mind Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine I am fine Okay, wow. I don't think I've ever really thought about what the lyrics of this song were. The The Papa Roach version is so catchy and like aggressive but upbeat. And like, I don't know if you've heard the Papa Roach version because if you haven't, you should. Um, but it's so catchy. I don't know, it's just like, it's just, it's a song that you just know if you grew up with it. You just remember, you can remember the melody and you can remember the beat. Um, so I don't think when I first heard it, I really considered what most of the lyrics meant. This is giving it like a whole new meaning. I mean, it's not a whole new meaning. It's the same meaning, but <laughs> it's really... Um, it's really, even the visualization of the buildings like collapsing, it's definitely like a cry for help, like a song that's a cry for help, like someone who is, you know, they're, this is their, this is their last resort. This is like, they're, they're it. This is their last plea for help. They're at a place where like the contemplation of suicide has become a reality, which is so like, heartbreaking and and you know a dark place to be of loneliness isolation okay cut my life into pieces this is my last resort suffocation no breathing don't give a fuck if i cut my arm bleeding this is my last resort i've reached my last resort suffocation no breathing don't give a fuck if i cut my arm bleeding do you even care if i die bleeding would it be wrong would it be right if i took my life tonight chances are that i might mutilation out of sight and i'm contemplating suicide i'm contemplating suicide um because i'm losing my sight losing my mind wish somebody would tell me i'm fine i'm losing my sight losing my mind wish somebody would tell me i'm fine i'm fine so yeah it sounds like a desperate plea to have somebody come and tell them it's all going to be fine. They need somebody. 
they're trying to, it sounds like they're trying to reach out. Um, they're not doing well. So this is such a like beautiful version of this song that's really giving life to the message of the song um, for me. I love the piano as always. I love the 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 cellos as always. <laughs> and yeah, just the visualization of being of this whole video like they're in this desolate city by themselves. They're alone, they're isolated. Um they yeah, it just like it it's depressing. It's yeah. And then while he's singing it's crumbling like I said it's such a beautiful um visualization of the turmoil of this song so I love it okay let's just go back we'll keep going Okay. <laughs> okay. I never realized I was spread too thin till it was too late and I was empty within. Feeding on chaos and living in sin, downward spiral, where do I begin? It all started when I lost my mother, no love for myself and no love for another. To find a love upon a higher level, finding nothing but questions and devils. That to me is like the depression in this downward spiral obviously as it says it started all when they lost their mother I don't know who wrote this song if this was like uh, like by a I mean obviously Papa Roach but if it was like you know a biographical song of what was going on in in their life or one of the band members life I have no idea but 
it does kind of sound that way that something like the death of this person's mother triggered this um downward downward spiral into depression and loneliness and like this feeling of uh like that you can't get out of like you're stuck down there and then it goes to because I'm losing my sight losing my mind where somebody would tell me I'm fine back to the course wish somebody would tell me I'm fine I can't go on living this way I can't go on living this way cut my life into pieces and then back to the course and then I'm running and I'm crying I can't go on living this way I'm running and I'm crying I can't go on living this way man Ronnie has this like incredible ability to emote with his vocal performance it blows me away I love this reimagined version I like the desperation of it was just such like a heartbreakingly beautiful way to show you know I don't you know a slice of life for someone who's dealing with and you know this can happen to anybody and how you feel when you're in that place all alone and it feels hopeless and you're just like desperately like you can't you know you can't go on this way even in the song when it said I can't I can't go on living this way it's just like you can't continue on and so it's either you know a lot of people get to that place where they're like, well, there, I just can't and I can't get out of it. So I guess this is it. This person is like so desperately wanting someone to come, like tell them without judgment, they're going to be okay. And it's all, you know, they can make it through it. And it's just like, yeah, God, the desperation really got me. And the video itself was like, so well done. I love how cinematic everything they do is. It really is like, draws me in it's awesome it's so I just love it I love it so much and I love that like even though it felt hopeless like it feels hopeless to me the song is like they haven't given up but they're at that place where they're feeling hopelessness and they're like kind of just like calling out for anyone anything that can help them maybe not do this thing that they feel like they kind of are being forced to do because they can't go on living this way but the music at the end was so like cinematic and uplifting it was such a cool contrast between this like desperation in Ronnie's voice and and the rebuilding of the buildings like everything that had fallen was slowly building it 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 started at such a dark place and almost felt either like I don't know I guess it could be taken two ways either that their their plea was being answered and they were finding what they needed in the end even though he was like he was like desperately calling for it and I guess you could maybe the hopeful side is that everything came back together and their world was going to be okay um and everything at the end was that the light went out or the other way is that maybe they ended up doing what they were contemplating um like they just couldn't live in this life anymore and that was what the end signaled that like it it was ending their pain and the light went out on like this beautiful soul's life I don't know I don't actually know what was meant but it could definitely go two different ways I would prefer it be the lovely way obviously because you just want everyone to know that when they're struggling like you just want everyone to have someone that can be there and and help them through it because yeah it's just devastating to think about the people who don't have that and and feel like the only way out is suicide it's yeah it's devastating what a like beautiful heartbreaking way to portray this message I'm not sure what the end is supposed to be let me know what your interpretation of it was um god 
God, he's good. But God, Falling Reverse is good. I love it. I love it so much. Ah, cinematic masterpiece. Wow. Made me feel all the feels. Freaking amazing storytelling. Cannot get enough. Oh my goodness. Also, guys, if you're struggling, please reach out to someone. Uh, reach out to a, a, a someone you know. Reach out to a helpline. Like, you're not alone. Please, please, please remember that you're not alone and don't forget to check on your friends your family members like you never know when someone is struggling and when they're feeling this way so yeah just remember check on the people you love guys check on the people you love oh thanks for being here thanks for hanging out with me if you like this reaction don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when more is coming your way and as always, I will link my Twitch in the info section below if you want to come over there and hang out with me when I'm live. But that's it for today's video. And holy mama jama. Wow. Heavy, heavy subject matter. Beautiful, beautifully freaking done. <gasps> okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.